In the 70s, there was a mathematician who made a square wheel bicycle and showed that you could roll it on a particular type of track that's got kind of humps in it. I'd seen this and thought, that's fun, that's interesting. I'd been, to a, I'd been to a museum in New York with my kids, and I think it must have been before we talked about this, in this, this thing where you roll a square across a curved track, and they'd seen, they'd, they'd ridden these, these tricycles, the kids had ridden these tricycles on this, on this sort of bumpy track. So I knew it was possible, <laughs> I'd seen it, seen it there. I've, I've done bridges that rotate, I've done bridges that lift, I've done bridges that slide, but I don't think I know anyone that's ever done a rolling bridge. We have a square wheel rolling by hand power, which so it's like, that sounds perfect for the next endeavour, so um, yeah. I guess the whole thing seems really challenging when you look at it in, um, as a whole object that moves the way that it does. Yeah, because each component is kind of like, you know, it is its own separate thing and once you sort of like put it to the side, you kind of forget about it and you move on to the next thing. It's a bridge when it's done, but I mean at the minute it's just a box. So, yeah. <laughs> or it's boxes. Just, you know, we can do that, it's easy, yeah. <laughs> This is Cody Dock. It sits on the border between Newham and Tower Hamlets, just off the River Lee. And it's a, a kind of long project uh, rejuvenating this old industrial dock. The plan is for it to become moorings for, for barges. And there's artist studios and a visitor centre and a new dry dock. They'll need a new crossing point and I'll need a crossing point that can open. And that's what um, this bridge is for. When, when, I, when I started designing this project, I, I went and spent a, a week or so helping a friend move a boat on the canal. Um, and we went through a lot of locks and I was really enjoying these Victorian infrastructures and how kind of low tech, but also smart they were in the way that they, they moved, manual, uh, kind of hands-on thing. And thought, oh, there must be a, a way we can do a bridge that, that kind of references that, that kind of gets back to that a little bit. To move it from one position to another takes about 20 minutes. It's manual and it's powered by hand winches. It was important for us to, to have that manual aspect, partly because I think it's, um, well, it's a very low energy solution in terms of you're not relying on external power sources. And partly because there's a way in which that simplifies things. There's a whole lot less to go wrong. If something does begin to go wrong, you notice it, you literally feel it getting harder to move. So um, it's a kind of haptic um, checking process the whole time. There's something very nice about being able to look at the thing, even in a stationary position, and kind of be able to read something about how it works. Everything's on show, the winches are on show, the track's on show. And if you've got your head screwed on, you can kind of follow the logic of how this is going to work. Um, some people will know, some people will get it, and some people will have to wait and see. The whole project seems to be about how it's made and expressing how it works. Mm in its construction and in its movement. And which is quite refreshing for us as well, in that you have a, an, an object that takes the craft skills and understands the craft skills of the people that work uh, downstairs and um, work in the workshop and, and really shows that off as well. I, I think it's true to its Victorian yeah. um, precedence, isn't it? it? It has that aesthetic of there is a purpose to these elements. I've seen people be quite alarmed by it. And I'm, it does look quite alarming when it's tilted. And then I've seen it completely inverted and I've seen people react, it just looks impossible, you know, when, it, when it's upside down and listing. It's not something that most people would have seen. Well, it's, I think it's pretty unique. So I think anyone would have seen before this idea of a, the whole bridge you know, having one moving part that is itself. Yeah, surprise is what I've uh, come across. <laughs> 